Hello everybody and welcome back to Automation the Car Company Tycoon game and of course later in this video BMG Drive. I'm very excited for today because we're going to ask ChatGPT to design us a vehicle and actually I've already done that. Um, you can see it right here, we're not starting in automation of course, we're starting with ChatGPT and I'm sure a lot of you will obviously um, recognize this right over here. So basically I asked it all this stuff, so stuff like the drivetrain, um, all of that, really, um, everything we need to design the vehicle in automation, um, you can read through it. Anyways, here it is. Um, it's the Apex Year 2019. It's a sedan, rear-wheel drive, cross-drilled disc brakes, 350 millimeters. Um, got the tire size and with chassis type panel material, so it's going to be carbon fiber, which is lit. We've got everything we need to know about the engine. We know what type of suspension it has. We know the driver aids and safety. Rim material, downforce, seating capacity, um, it's going to be a high performance sports sedan, the color is going to be carbon black, we're going to have an electronic limited slip differential, um, and it's, the approximate price is going to be 150 grand, and I believe I skipped over that part, it's going to have around 600 horsepower, so this is going to be really cool, of course. Um, We've got this here as well. This is the full description. You can pause the video to read it, and I'll also actually just pop that down in the description of this video as well. But for right now, let's get designed. Here we are in BMG, and this is going to be the Apex Platinum Edition. I've got to ask um, ChatGPT for a trim name, so I asked it, and it gave me Platinum Edition, which is pretty cool. Here's the body we're going to be using. Um, so we, he said. The road 2019, that's uh, the car model year, yeah, so I guess we can just get designing. Now, obviously, ChatGPT hasn't told me everything, which leaves a tiny bit of creativity to myself as well, which I'm definitely happy about, yeah, um, but you know what, that is fine. Okay, so for the panel material, we were going to go with carbon fiber, um, chassis type, space, space frame, right? Let's see, yeah, uh, aluminium, we don't seem to have aluminium here, what if we go like this, yep, then, so apparently we're going to do semi-space frame then, um, engine placement, I'm not sure he gave me that, but we're probably just going to do that, well that means uh, front longitudinal, right, because it's going to be rear wheel drive, the suspensions, gotta find those as well of course, um, so the front is going to be double wishbone, and the rear is going to be coil, solid axle coil, there we go, happy with that. Then we're going to create a new engine, yes, so this is going to be a twin turbocharged V8, and I mean, yeah, so we're going to go with a twin turbocharged V8, it's going to have around 600 horsepower, and it's going to be 5.2 liter, um, and I suppose we'll just make it square, 90... Three, what does that give us? Uh, what, what did it say? 5.2 liter, so 94.2, there we go, that's a nice 5.2 liter, although we actually might just go down like that, there we go, 5.2 liter, beautiful, it didn't tell me everything, so I think we we'll just go for an overhead cam 4 valve, seems pretty nice, did you tell, I don't think we got anything about the I think we'll just go for aluminum since that's also what we made the chassis out of. And then we'll see later. What did I not select? Oh, this. We'll go, you know what? Cast iron block material. As for the crank, you know what? Well, I think we'll go maybe forged steel, heavy duty cast, heavy duty forged, forged. We'll go for balance shafts. It's, it's going to be an expensive car, right? 150 grand, approximately. So yeah, that's fine. Uh, we could, it's going to be turbocharged, twin turbo. Uh, you know what? Probably... I'll, we'll, we'll see, of course, right? It's, it's definitely going to be injection. We'll do direct injection. Yeah. Uh, twin performance high, and then we can probably decrease the size of that a bit. Obviously, we're going to have some tweaking. We did get, so premium unleaded, nice, seems pretty good to me, uh, go turbo mid, dual exhaust obviously, 
Then Catholic Converter High Flow 3 Way Baffled and Reverse Flow Exhaust is strangling us by a lot. What if we add bypass valves? Um, so we seem we seem to have way too much horsepower. So this is maybe gonna be we just put an eco preset on this. Let's see what that gives us. Uh, and the game doesn't really seem to be loading. I'll see what I can make of this. After a bunch of messing around, because I'm not so good at turbos and I don't really use them that often, um, we've gotten a 615 horsepower engine with 746 newton meters of torque. I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy. It's 15 more horsepower. Doesn't really matter. It was approximate anyways. Now I'm going to need to look through my pictures again because um, I need to find out what uh, what's what stuff I'm, 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 I'm gonna design it at the end by the way um, if you want me to design to design the vehicle first then go ahead and tell me that and then I might actually try that out I know it feels kind of weird so I'm just gonna keep on doing it like this yeah uh, here we go so it's gonna be a rear wheel drive um, now we actually got to find stuff so yeah, I really didn't make these pictures well. What was the gearbox going to be? I found it. It's going to be an advanced automatic 8 speed. Yeah, then top speed, we'll just put it to whatever the game says, which is 370, which is pretty good. That's about what I was expecting. Definitely happy with that. Might change this later, although at 50 it looks pretty good, to be honest. The differentials. Um, it told us an electric limited slip, right? Um, it did it. An electronic limited slip differential. Yep, that's that one right over there. Pretty happy with that. So the tires are obviously going to be radials. Didn't need him to tell me that. Probably going to make it um, a medium compound. Yeah, that seems fine. We got told a lot about the tires as well. So let me actually check that stuff. So tire and wheel width and size 19 inch wheels. And I've got... All this in the wrong measurements, of course. I got it. These got to be 655s. These got to be 255s. There we are. And these got to be 19. Make these 670s. Six. Wait, what was it? 690s, right? Hold on. Yep, that's right. Okay. Those are pretty large wheels, but that's fine. We can have alloy rims, because that's what we got told by the bot. Now... The bot also said, I believe, a type of brakes that we don't actually have. Let's see, where are the brakes? It says cross-drilled brakes, but we don't have those. So we're going to go for vented discs. Um, how many pistons? It was three, and we've got 355 millimeters. So that is 355 front and rear. There we go. Um, 355, there two. We'll adjust the force when we can. Gonna increase decrease that by five though, because these are some pretty gigantuan brakes we got. And then that's fine. You know what? Might as well up the quality. So we have around 600 kilograms of downforce, or at least that's what um, they want us to have. So I'll mess around with that, I guess, when we come to it. Oh, uh, so for right now we'll do no under tray, but we might have one later um and so it's a four seater to reduce size seats that's too bad about this body actually i hope you can have just um two normal size seats but oh well that's okay detachable hard top it's 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 it's, it's but, but wait what excuse me uh, what about this is this more normal yeah now it's a four seater okay so i chose the wrong body now it's just a regular Four seater, yes, that's exactly what we want. So we were going for a pre premium interior because it's a high performance sports sedan that's uh, designed for the driving enthusiast. Consistent stopping power, etc., etc. Nice. Okay, so we were gonna go. Oh, 600 pounds of downforce, not kilograms. That's quite a lot of difference. That's like 270 kilograms of downforce. So, okay. Anyways, we'll go for a premium HUD then, I guess, as well. Actually, how about a sport interior? Gonna 
ignore this bad boy. It, we didn't get, I think, um, electric variable. And so for the driver aids and safety, ChatGPT told me a whole lot. Stuff we don't have in this game. Anti-lock brakes, electronic stability control, traction control system, lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, and adaptive cruise control. Now we don't have all those, um, but so I think we're just going to go for traction control and ABS, although, you know what, ESC and launch control, actually, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It's, we're going to make it an advanced 20 safety, because it was going to be really safe, right? So, yeah, that's fine. Car weight is actually pretty light. Wow. Okay. Definitely happy with that. Now, um, as for the suspension, I don't think we had too much about that. We just had the suspension types. So, we're going to go for probably some active comfort springs. Twin tube. The brakes suffer from severe brake fade. That's, um, that's too bad. Here we're going to go for probably... Um, actually normal and then to make it actually be able to drive in BMG we're just gonna add some stuff onto that there we go nice and it oversteers that's oh that's not actually so <laughs> the brakes fade what do you mean brake fade look at look at the brake force what if we increase these to six discs yeah and then we'll keep them at 255 millimeters, and then we'll just have to, like, put this brake force at 20. Oh, no, that's not, again. Okay. So, 42, 42 seems fine there. Yeah, that seems pretty fine. Then we'll put this at 90, nah, 100 is good there. We'll actually make that 45, because I feel like doing that. So now the car tends to oversteer, the car terminally oversteers. Brakes still suffer from brake fade. Well, dude, do something about that, I guess. Rear brake force is very high. No thanks. Rear dampers are hard. Yeah, otherwise it's just going to bottom out in BMG. If you use the standard presets, it always bottoms out in BMG if you brake. It seems to be doing really well. Wait, are we... S We're selling so much. Whoa. So premium. Luxury. Oh, God. Utility sport? Wait, wait, what, what, what was it set as? You just said it as premium. We sell so much of this. Wow. What does it cost? It only costs 44 grand? It starts, according to this thing, it's supposed to start at 150,000. So, you know what? Maybe we can give it a bit of better stuff. So, we'll probably up this by 10. Because we had so many safety features that ChatGPT gave us, we'll probably have to do that, right?
here it is, the 2019 Apex Platinum Edition, and the engine of course as well. I'm very, very excited to test this thing out in the MBMG. Here you can take a look at the car, and you can actually download this if you want. You can, uh, you can join my Discord server, and in there you can find the download link for this car, um, the .car file for this car, you know, and to every other car I've ever made a video on. So that's pretty cool. Let me know what you think. I like these custom headlights and grill a lot. Um, without this front grill, I can just delete it real fast. I honestly felt like I was um, I was copying Mercedes so much. How do I undo undo? I, I yeah okay. So I was copying Mercedes a bit too much. So I decided to make this huge big front grill. You know, make it a bit more American. I guess, sort of, not really like it was intended to be a very American car, but, oh well, um, of course let me know what you think down in the comments below, all of the lights are completely custom, so all these lights are, as well as the front lights over here, and we're gonna go ahead and test it out in BMG. Also, as you can see, it costs exactly 150 grand, and the mileage is 17.5 liters per 100 kilometers, which... For you guys out there is like 14 and a half MPG. So that's pretty terrible. Here it is in BMG and boy does this look good. It looks really really nice here in BMG. Let's turn it on. There we go and it sounds pretty pretty good. As you can uh, as, as you can hear. So let's start driving I guess. Um, also, when driving, it sounds really, really nice. Um, so let's go. Because it's uh, an automatic, it can go... No, it shoots by itself, of course. Which I'm not so used to. I'm used to more manual cars. I actually only drive manual cars. And I usually only make manual cars. But, oh well. Um, it's not... It's, it's kind of weird to drive. Well, on the side... The rear uh, fenders are really big. Okay, I didn't realize that. It drives kind of weird because it's like a 615 horsepower car, and ChatGPT told me to make it rear wheel drive. Yeah, <laughs> that was expected. Let's uh, just reset it there, which makes this somehow really weird because you know usually if I would if I would make a car myself, uh, make it you know 2019. Advanced automatic 8 speed, yeah, with 650 horsepower. I definitely think this an all wheel drive. I think it'd be a lot better if it was an all wheel drive, but you know, ChatGPT told me to make this a rear wheel drive, so here we are. Um, because of the fact that it's rear wheel drive, I think that really kind of, um, that really kind of strangles it because it's a really good car. I like it a lot, it looks really nice. Um, it works really well as well. Like for the rest, I really like this. Also, I love this challenge a lot. And if you guys did too, make sure to hit like and subscribe, and then let me know that we should do it again in the comments below. Because I'm totally down for doing this another time and asking uh, ChatGPT to make me a rally car or an off-road car or something like that or a, or a GT car, maybe even an open wheel car. I don't know. We can. We could ask it for all that. That'd be uh, pretty cool. Because I, I, I totally love to see what it comes up with. Yeah, brakes. Their, their brakes are okay. I might have wanted them to be a bit better. But, um, yeah, it, that, that was my fault. Okay, so here we are on the track. I don't think we're going to be able to get a new record. But I do think we're going to be able to get a sub 2 minute 30 seconds. Yeah, um, so the current record is set by the Conquest Topaz, which is basically an El Camino, but then 2020 stance and with 800 horsepower. Yeah, um, as I said, I'm hoping for a sub 2 minute 30. If we get 2 minute 30 seconds, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, that's the target time. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, once again, I really think it's the rear wheel drive which is strangling us. Um, I think we'd be able to get a much better time if it weren't for the rear-wheel drive. 
Rear wheel drive really is making it hard on us. It's hard to keep control. Um, or well, at least it's hard to keep good control. Also, um, it doesn't really understeer and it doesn't really oversteer. It oversteers if you're taking a turn and you're going full throttle, and it understeers if you're braking and taking a turn. Yeah. Um, so usually I can continue going full throttle through this corner, but because this thing is rear wheel drive, I don't want to risk that. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start breaking a bit early here, because this corner is really, really mean. Because um, it doesn't start off so sharp, and then all of a sudden it gets really, really sharp. And, yeah, it's, it's a really mean corner. Probably the meanest one on the track. This one right here is also pretty mean. It's a chicane, but it's, it's like, you need to make a 90 degree turn to be able to make it. So, yeah. Anyways, we're approaching the end now. So that's fine. Um, let's see, here we go. Don't want to start braking too late. The brakes could definitely be better, um, I feel like. But, oh well, it's too bad, I guess. It's also, of course, if, you go, if you're going uh, really fast, then it's going to take a while for you to slow down, right? Um, here we are. There we go. We're approaching the last turn right now. That's this right over here. Let's see, come on, can we make it? Also, I cannot see the time, like, at all, because my recording icon is right on top of the time, and I can't move it. Would you look at that? That is a 2.24. Okay, pretty happy with that. That's our second best time on this track, really. Yes, it is. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um. Not beating the El Camino, but you know, that one, yeah. So, for right now, remember you can download this car in my Discord, and thank you ever so much for watching. I really hope to see you again in the next one. Bye bye.